Jared and I know what the first month looks like. At least we've got teams to aim for, dates to aim for. How much better is that now knowing something? Uh, well, yeah, I think the hardest part about this whole thing was sort of the unknown. So it's good to have four games penciled in and they're all here. So. Um, it's probably been about well, forever since I've played four home games in a row, so it's, um, it's going to be nice. How much of a plus is that to have that sort of kickstart? Yeah, I mean, we obviously thought we'd be going into hubs for eight, nine, ten weeks at, at one stage, and guys with families like myself sort of found that a bit hard to swallow. So, yeah, it's sort of a full, full circle thing now that we've got four games and we're at home for the first four weeks. So um, I think it's pretty nice for us. It's unheard of, sorry Dan, to have four home games in a row like that. I guess you've really got to make them count now. Yeah, I think that's that's the biggest thing. Obviously no crowd makes uh, makes a bit of a difference, but um, we played so well here last year, so we'll take a lot of confidence out of that um, into the first four weeks. What, what, when you say played well here last year, is that because of the crowd a part of that? Is it the surface? It's a pretty quick sort of ground? Is the, 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 the parameters of it, what, what, what gives you that advantage? Oh, I mean, the crowd was amazing last year, especially towards the back end of the year when they all got involved, but I think we just played the ground really well. It's obviously a different ground, it's a bit wider, and it is it is quick when you move the ball really well, so, and obviously we get the advantage of training here three days a week now for the next four weeks, so we'll certainly get used to it again. We put a, a number of percentage on how much the crowd is worth here, because you, you're not going to have <laughs> now. Well, yeah, you could probably account it for 15, 20 percent, I reckon, especially in the close game. I reckon that Geelong game last year when the crowd started to get involved, it certainly lifts you over the line. So we will miss that, but um, I'm sure we'll have things in place that will sort of counteract that. And um, I think we've got the speakers here to do something. So, yeah. How's footy going to look, Jared? Is it going to be because there's so much training that was pre-season and there's been another eight-week yeah. block, so you expect it to be sort of fast, physical, but a, a bit fumbly, given you haven't played for a while? Yeah, I think there'll be cobwebs early. Um, three, three or four weeks is, is a bit of time to sort of blow them out training, but there is nothing like, um, like match play. Uh, we'll try and get as much of that in as we can over the next sort of three or four weeks, but yeah, it is, as I said, it's been such a long block of training. Um, you've got to sort of fit in the rest in there as well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think the first couple of weeks might will probably be the teams that can sort of hit the ground the quickest and, and get off the mark the quickest will probably be the teams that you see at the end of the year. And what about the, uh, the sort of, I suppose, you can add, you know, contact? Or who, apart from Mitch Robinson, who's gone a bit nuts the first couple of days? Well, we've only sort of had one, one day of contact, really, and that was on Monday, um, and everyone was a little bit sort of feeling each other out and sort of getting used to it again. Um, but it was nice to sort of tackle and, and feel that pressure again. And um, yeah, it certainly makes things a bit harder. You get a bit fumbly and you sort of, you realise that there's a bit of way to go, but um, got some great sort of coaches and um, fitness staff in place to get us there. You mentioned the sort of the getting a, a quick start. Of course, 2019 is such a great season for the club. The challenge now, obviously, is to, uh, to repeat that in 2020. Yeah, yeah, I mean, not only a start in the general scheme of things, but I reckon starts in games will be really important as well. Obviously, shorter quarters. Um, we've sort of probably have made a habit previously of coming from behind and winning, so that's not going to be the case anymore. I reckon teams that are out in front could probably generally hold on now. So there is going to be tactics to the game, and I guess the coaches will be left up to figure out how we go about it. Your season sort of mirrored uh, um, the club's last year, outstanding season for you personally. Are you looking for consistency this year to back up last year's effort? Yeah, I think last year I probably started slow, like a little bit like we did, but then got going late. <laughs> um, so yeah, I we'll have to wait for that. Yeah, as I said, last year was um, yeah it was a great season, obviously personally, but it was just great for the team and yeah, looking forward to backing that up, as you said. Can you take anything out of the Hawthorne game? Uh, we, we will review it. I think we will review it this week and um, probably take more so what we did wrong as opposed to what we were doing last year, which we certainly didn't play the same way. And we, we'll take those little points out of it and review it in that regard. Um, obviously, such a long time ago, it's hard to, to work out what you do take out of it. But yeah, I think there'll be some definite learning points from it. And uh, obviously, we don't want to play like that. So that's probably a good way to go. Yeah.